Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Leo for the week of March 28th through April 3rd of 2023. I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up as well as subscribe to and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. Oh, and the magician. So starting off with facing difficult decisions this week, but you're going to pull the answers out of the air. You know, it's going to be almost like magic. It's going to happen. If you were feeling stuck in any capacity of your life, whether it was a new job endeavor or, you know, trying to hoard some money away sort of thing, you're getting the clarity this week of what you got to do in order to clear the air, clear the tension, so that it comes in easily and more positive for you. So that's beautiful to see that it happens. Sorry, I just dropped a card. I'll retrieve it. Ah. And the Ten of Swords. Well, that's all right. At least you realize what your portrayals are and who did it. So you can face it and cut it out of your life you know somebody has definitely done something shady behind you you know somebody you've you've taken into confidence has spilled the beans so you realize what they're really worth you can see it you know it's not nice to have it done and i'm sorry that it happened to you but it also lets you realize that who you can and can't trust you know good or bad there it is. It's painful sometimes to realize that you're put in this position. You know, it's unfair, but you realize that you need to set yourself free from this sort of stuff. And the world card. So there it is. With that beginning and realization this week, you also come to finalizing something in your life. You know, whether that's letting that person out of your life and not dealing with it anymore. You're just moving forward. You're on a better footing for yourself because you have a greater understanding of what you're bringing in to your future. And for some of you, this could also be a form of travel. Maybe this has driven you to, you know, take a look at your life of maybe I would like to take a trip somewhere, you know, someplace that you've never been. Sometimes we try to run away from different things that happens in our life and it and that trip turns out to be not only eye opening but it changes your perspective on different things. And the five of cups. So most definitely realizing that you've come to a completion in your life. You're realizing what you need to let go of. You know, it's it's uh, it can be an unsuccessful relationship that disappointed you. Some of you, this could be a, um, a test score. If you were taking a test, maybe you didn't quite get as high as you anticipated, that sort of thing. So you're, you know, deflating your ego a bit this week. Try not to do that. Or one of your dreams that you thought was going to, you know, pan out so well, didn't. And that's okay, too. That's all learning curves. But you're okay. You know, it's... It's not nice to go through it, but you also realize that it real helps you realize and see what you got to do to make it easier on yourself going forward. And the devil card. Yeah, you're doing a whole lot of reflecting this week on who you're going to let into your life anymore, what your boundaries are going to be. You know, you're... Um, starting to transform in life. You know, you're not accepting a lot of things. You're not accepting burdens that were not yours. Or maybe you've held yourself back for a long time believing that, you know, people's uh, expectations of you were that you were supposed to do A, B, and C. And meanwhile, you want to do D, C, and, and B sort of thing. So you're you're going forward and you're realizing that I'm okay with what I've learned. My boundaries are going up. 
I'm going to avoid people, places, and things that bring me down and make me unhappy. And I'm moving into the world in a good frame of mind. And the king of rods. So yeah, you're definitely motivated to change a lot of things in areas of your life this week. You're planning a trip for the future, you know, because you want to do it, that sort of thing. You know, you're no longer carrying people's burdens. You're investing in yourself. You know, you're on good, good grounds. You know, you're leaving your ego at the door because you're realizing that, you know, I have to understand other people's looks of life as well. And the hermit. So there you go. You're definitely stopping. Stopping at the door. You know, closing the door when you get home from work or wherever it is. And just going, I had enough. So you're just going to take a well-deserved breath of air for yourself. You're going to sit back, reflect on a few things, decisions in your life. Take a well-deserved time. And the seven of pentacles. So there you are. You know, maybe you've made some investments that you haven't told anybody about. And now you're sort of anticipating the, the outcome of them and waiting for it is not an easy task <laughs> so you're a little bit anxious here but you're trying to visualize what's coming and calm yourself down and and wait <laughs> and the ten of cups so there it is wish fulfillment isn't that beautiful to see that is very nice you know some some of you are you know developing a, a lasting relationship and this can be in a relationship that you're in maybe you look at each other with different eyes maybe you've learned something new about them even when you thought that you knew it all they give you that sort of wow I was not going to expect that from them but you know that sort of thing you're feeling more emotionally secure you're feeling in love with love again you're feeling more optimistic. If this is a relationship, it's going to go for the long haul. There you are. Taking a time out. You know, if you were feeling stuck in anything in your life, you've weighed all the pros and cons. You've listened to both sides of the equation. And now you're making your decision for yourself this week. Yeah. Beginning, starting over with the fool, you know, stepping out into the unknowing, blissfully doing so with the anticipation that it will all pan out. But you also realize that you, though that is what you want to do, you will hold yourself for that few minutes and make sure all everything else is okay in your life before you take that one step. And the star card, well, there you are. Most definitely believing in yourself, realizing that you can start over, fresh eyes, fresh ideas, you know, things are starting to mix really well, you're starting to enjoy yourself a little bit more, you're, you know, believing in magic again, you're believing that, you know, all possibilities are possible, so that's really good. And the Three of Swords, so, you know... This could be from the recent past that somebody hurt you de deeply and it left a profound mark on you and, and all relationships do. And it's whether we can sort of release that so that our next relationships are better because we've learned what we will and won't put up with anymore. And maybe you're considering actually having a, um, a few words with that person but you're weighing that pro and con as well. But you're going to, you need to take the swords out of your heart. Don't let it hold you back from, you know, a better life for yourself. It taught you something. And you need to realize that that's all this is. This was a learning curve. It doesn't have to be a wound for life. You know, we all have a tendency to do that. We become scarred from relationships you know family relationships that we're actually in with another partner that sort of thing sometimes really leave lasting moments and releasing them sometimes is very hard 
and to not repeat them or hold another person for something that was done to you in the past. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But you're coming to a lot of realizations this week that you're going to start over, you know, fresh eyes, try and open up a little bit more. You do have boundaries, but that's, that's ex acceptable in order to move forward for anyone. Ah, beautiful. New romance is infinite, either with a newcomer or through rekindled passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving of love. What a beautiful card. All right, on that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.